Hey everybody, welcome back. This is lesson 11 of the Growing in Trust Mentorship course. And um, today our topic is about how trust and grace go together. And I um, really wanted to include this. I really felt led to include this in this course because a lot of times um, I'm trying to give you general guidelines to base your decision-making process on when you are making connections and forming relationships with other people, but I don't want it to be so standardized that if you didn't get, you know, a hundred on this quiz, you're not passing go, <laughs> you know. Um, so I want it to be, I wanted to include a section where grace really comes into play. And this is so important for all relationships. First of all, I'm in desperate need of grace. I need other people to be gracious with me. I know I'm going to make a mistake. I'm not try out here trying to be perfect. And I just need people to see me with that heart. I need them to have that kind of gracious nature with me. And so in this course, I talk about how grace plays into trust, why we should have grace with people even when they're not perfect. But I also talk about what grace is not. Grace is not, I have the ability to do whatever I want and you just have to deal with it and you have to have grace with me. That's not grace. Um, and so, and it also doesn't mean control. It doesn't mean control. So I don't get to say, um, um, you know, you have to have grace for, with me because this is how I run my life. You know, this is how I run my ministry. This is not what grace is. I don't get to control other people. I don't get to say like, if you meet all of these standards and then I'll consider, you know, re your request. This isn't some crazy um, uh, hierarchy situation where people have to, you know, bend and move however you want them to. Grace is not about that. Um, and so I want you to really get a handle on understanding how grace plays into trust and why it's so important. And I also wanted to make sure that you know about the importance of laughing and kind of not taking yourself too seriously. Life is a big deal, right? Life is a serious issue, um, but we don't need to take every single thing that happens to us as if it's the whole world, as if it's like the, the greatest thing ever. When you approach life in a light way, when you're able to laugh, you're able to laugh at your own self, you, you're filled with joy, even in stressful situations you can find joy in them, you're going to have a lot better outcome. Okay, sometimes the pressures that we put on our own self, did I do this? Did I did I make sure that I followed with my values and not my beliefs? Did I make sure that they there was consequences put into place? Did I communicate them effectively? When we start over analyzing the things that we're doing instead of just saying, I have a guideline for how I do life so I can take that stress off of having everything done correctly and now I'm able to just kind of go with the flow of life. You know, all of these things that I'm talking about in this course are meant to be guidelines so that you don't stray too far to the left, you don't stray, stray too far to the right, right? That's what a boundary is. It should be making you a straight path. And when you're in the middle of there though, you should have fun, right? You should have fun going and exploring and doing whatever you want as long as it's within your boundaries that are appropriate for your life and for your season. And without having that approach, life is gonna be so hard. People aren't gonna be wanting to be around you. People aren't gonna be wanting to make a connection to you. And you're gonna be struggling to, to find that sense of belonging as long as you have this bad mindset when it comes to, you know, let, that life is a bunch of rules. These aren't rules. These are just guidelines to help you get a handle on, oh, I see where I was thinking wrong or making bad decisions in this area. Now I can adjust. I can apply these techniques. I can apply these things. And now I have firm boundaries. I have consequences for them. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm headed. And I know what kind of people I want in my life. And now I'm ready to go find them in a fun way. Not like, are, do you meet all these qualifications? <laughs> so really take a look at um, where you could add more joy in your life. That's part of the um, exercises that are included at the end of the PDF for this section. And um, and really, really take a look at this. You know, really go through it again. You get out of this course what you are willing to put in. So um, I will see you in next uh, lesson, lesson 12, which is our final video for this course.